Hello guys, in this video let us talk about the Axis 3 code. Of course in binary coded decimals and binary digits uh, you may say that there are many types of codes and what is this new thing called Axis 3 codes? It is, is it a headache? So let me just tell you, Axis 3 code is very very simple. It's just nothing actually. EXCES is Axis 3 code. You can also write it as XS3. So, as the name itself suggests, it is nothing but three more than the actual code. For example, I I'll write it. I'll write down uh, uh, decimal number and binary number and the XS3 code. See, I have zero in binary. Normal binary, it is zero zero. For one, zero 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 one. For two, it is zero zero one zero. For three, it is zero one zero uh, zero. 0, 1, 1. So, these are the decimal numbers, the binary codes for the given decimal numbers. What I want is the XS3 code. The XS3 code is, as the name I already told you, is nothing but 3 more than the actual code. So, when you are writing the code for 0, you are actually adding 3 to 0, which is 3. So, this is normal binary code and this is XS3 code. In XS3 code, the code for 0 is going to be 0, 0, 1, 1. And, for co and the code for 1 will be 0, 1, 0, 0. For 2 it's going to be 0, 1, 0, 1. And this is 0, 1, 1, 0. So, binary and XS3. The XS3 code for 0 is 0, 0, 1, 1. For 1 is 0, 1, 0, 0. So, if you take for, if you take the XS3, uh, normally, hun decimal 100 if you are representing uh, by something in binary form, for XS3 code, the decimal, um, the it's just nothing but plus 3. Whatever you are going to write for 103 in the normal binary form, you will write that equivalent for XS3, for 100 itself. It's just 3 more than the normal number. So, you may ask me why this new concept of XS3 code. In uh, by BCD subtraction, first we have to take the 9th complement of a number. It's in my other video, BCD subtraction using 9th complement. So, if, in BCD subtraction, you have to take out the 9th complement of a number and then uh, subtract the things. But the beauty of XS3 is, you can just find out one's complement of it. You can just find out one's complement of this code, and that will be actually that that will be the ninth complement. See, see, I have zero zero one one, which is one one zero zero. This is the self. So, 1100. Zero, zero. So, this is the ones complement of this code. So, by taking the ones complement itself for XS3 code, you will get the actual nines complement of the number. So, the point is XS3 code is also called self complementing node. Im important bit. XS3 code is also called self complementing node. XS3 code is another type of BCD code and it is a self complementing node. 